Solve for y. We have 3y plus 7 is less than 2y, and 4y plus 8 is greater than negative 48. So we have to find all the y's that meet both of these constraints. So let's just solve for y in each of the constraints. And just remember that this and is here. So we have 3y plus 7 is less than 2y. So let's isolate the y's on the left-hand side. So let's get rid of this 2y on the right-hand side. And we can do that by subtracting 2y from both sides. So we're going to subtract 2y from both sides. The left-hand side, we have 3y minus 2y, which is just y, plus 7 is less than 2y minus 2y. And there's nothing else there. That's just going to be 0. And then we can get rid of this 7 here by subtracting 7 from both sides. So let's subtract 7 from both sides. Left-hand side, y plus 7 minus 7. Those cancel out. We just have a y is less than 0 minus 7, which is negative 7. So that's one of the constraints. That's this constraint right over here. Now let's work on this constraint. We have 4y plus 8 is greater than negative 48. 8. So let's get rid of the 8 from the left-hand side. So we can subtract 8 from both sides. Subtract 8 from both sides. The left-hand side, we're just left with a 4y, because these guys cancel out. 4y is greater than negative 48 minus 8. So we're going to go another 8 negative. So 48 plus 8 would be, would be uh, a 56. So this is going to be negative 56. Negative 56. And now to isolate the y, we can divide both sides by positive 4. And we don't have to swap the inequality since we're dividing by a positive number. So it's divide both sides by 4 over here. So we get y. We get y is greater than what is 56 over 4, negative 56 over 4. Let's see, 40 is 10 times 4. And then we have another 16 to worry about. So it's 14 times 4. So y is greater than y is greater than negative 14. Is that right? 4 times 10 is 40. 4 times 4 is 16. Yep, 56. So y could be greater than y is greater than negative 14. And let's remember, we have this and here. And y is less than negative 7. So we have to meet both of these constraints over here. So let's draw them. Let's draw them on the number line. So I have my number line over here. And Let's say negative 14 is over here. Negative 14, so you have negative 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. That's negative 7, and then negative 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This would be 0, and then you could keep going up more positive. And so we're looking for all of the y's that are less than negative 7. So let's look at this. Less than negative 7. So not including negative 7. So we'll do an open circle around negative 7 and less than negative 7. And if that was the only constraint, we would keep going to the left. But we have this other constraint. And y has to be greater than negative 14. And y is greater than negative 14. So you make a circle around negative 14 and everything that's greater than that. And if you didn't have this other constraint, you would keep going. But the, 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 the y's that satisfy both of them are all of the y's in between. These are the y's. These are the y's that are both less than negative 7 and greater than negative 14. And we can verify that things here work. So let's try some values out. So a value that would work, well, let me just do negative 10 is right here, 8, 9. This is negative 10. That should work. So let's try it out. So we'd have 3 times negative 10. 3 times negative 10 plus 7 should be less than 2 times negative 10. So this is negative 30 plus 7 is negative 23, which is indeed less than negative 20. So that works. And negative 10 has to work for this one as well. So you have 4 times negative 10, which is negative 40, plus 8. Negative 40 plus 8 should be greater than negative 48. Well, negative 40 plus 8 is negative 32. We're going, we're going 8 in the positive direction. So we're getting less negative. And negative 32 is greater than negative 48. It's less negative. So this works. So negative 10 works. Now let's just verify things that shouldn't work. So 0 should not work. 0 should not work. It's not in the solution set. So let's try it out. If we had 3 times 0 plus 7, that would be 7. And 7 
is not less than 0. So it would violate this condition right over here if you put a 0 over here. If you put a negative 15 over here, it should violate this condition right over here, because it wasn't in this guy's solution set. Anyway, hopefully you found that useful.